Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Eden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and welcome to another sort of random video for the week. And this week, I, I'm doing something that I said that I would do in maybe like one or two different videos. But anyway, uh, we are going to be doing a tier list maker for the Miraculous Ladybug characters. Now, this is excluding the superheroes because this, honestly, uh, this tier list maker is a little bit outdated. It doesn't have all the current heroes. So I'm going to have to find another one or make one myself, probably. So this one is, or this video is just going to be for the characters without their hero transformations. But luckily all the characters have a normal and a transformation mode anyway, so uh, yeah. Uh, but if you enjoyed this type of video, I wouldn't mind turning it into a series. So if you want to see me do like season 1 episodes, the villains, etc, please let me know and I'd be happy to do it. And the link to this tier list maker will be down in the description below if you are interested so you can make your own. But yeah, basically. S is the number one, it's like the top of the line, and then we got A, B, C, and D, and then unknown, like there are a couple people on here that I don't really know for some reason, and so I'll, I'll just be putting them in here. And it looks like, for whatever reason, this one repeats, so it's really just this three by whatever this is, so I'm going to be doing this whole bracket here, obviously excluding the superheroes because I said I wasn't going to do that. Oh yeah, also, I think what I'll do is I will be making two separate graphs. One of them will be for characters that I like as a fan of the show, and then the second graph will be uh, the characters as I like them from a show writer's perspective, so how much potential they have for the plot, etc. So this first graph here is going to be characters that I like personally as a fan. So we're going to start off with Adrian. I think I'll place him at an A. And the reason he's not an S is because he is so dense. If he was a little bit less dense, I would probably make him an S because he's just a nice guy. Alex, I think I'll put her... Where do I want her? A lot of you guys seem to really like Alex. and I mean, it's not that I don't like Alex. It's just that I don't have a reason to necessarily like her. And here's the thing. Are we going based off of Alex from her adult self or her young self. We don't really know too much about her older self, so I'm just gonna stick with her younger self. And for her younger self, she's pretty chill, so I'm gonna make her a B. I could adjust things on here, uh, depending on how just I feel this graph is going. But for now, I think we'll keep her at a B. Alia, I think I'm gonna make her an S. She's pretty cool. She's got the whole ladybug, she's dedicated. Uh, overall, she's a good character. This guy... Uh, <laughs> you're making me rank him? I, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't really care for him. So I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just put him at, at a D for now. This guy... I don't even want to rank him because we saw him, like, for, what, a minute total? He's the art teacher. In that one reverser episodes I, I don't think we've ever seen him other than that one episode so i'm gonna put him as an unknown uh the stormy weather 2 girl let's see here where do i want to put her she seemed she got pretty upset over losing and i mean sure you should you could get upset over losing but she seemed to like take it maybe a little too far i don't know maybe i'll put her at a at a C? I don't know. Uh, this t Miss Bustier, I think. I think that's her name. Is it Bustier or is that a different teacher? I don't know. Either way, though, she was actually withstanding Hawkmoth's pull to the dark side. So I'll put her as, as an S because, well, actually, I guess this is not really the side for, like, as a show. Well, I, I don't know. Anyway, I'll just keep her at an S. Carapace, uh, Cat Noir, skipping those two. Chloe... Uh, nah, I'm gonna have to put Chloe as a D. <laughs> I don't like Chloe. Gabriel, also a D, because Gabriel's just kind of mean. Ivan, I'm gonna put him at a B. Because of B... Actually, I'll make him an A. Ivan's a pretty sweet guy. This guy, I don't know, who, I don't even know who this guy is. Do you guys know who this is? I don't think of, I don't ever recall seeing him at all. I mean, he's obviously in the locker room, so we've seen him at some point in an episode, but... I don't know what episode he's from. I don't know what character this is. If you know, please let me know, because that would be awesome. Okay, Julika. Julika's 
pretty nice. I think I can connect with her a little bit because she's shyer and I don't know, I just kind of feel bad for her because she was at first like left out of all the school pictures, Chloe picked on her, so I think I'll put her at a B as well. Kagami, it's not that I don't like Kagami, it's just, and I mean I guess she is a little bit more awkward with how she treats people, that's understandable, but for the time being I think I'll have to put her at a C. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, Kim, I'm gonna have to put him at a C as well. There's some times where, like, he's pretty mean in season one, specifically, and then he matured over time, sure, but I still think I'm gonna have to put him at a C, because being a superhero, uh, yeah, that's weird, because when I go back to season one, he's, you can hardly tell he's the same character, because he seems like the big bully kind of guy in the first season, and then by the third season, he's just like this nice guy. So I don't know. I'll, I'll keep him in a C for now. Ooh, Lila. So I'm going to put her at a D because obviously we've got the, the trio of evil people. <laughs> uh, Luca, I'm going to put him in an S because Luca is such a nice guy. Um, yeah, he, he, he deserves nothing less than an S. Let's see. This is Mark. And... I don't really know Mark too much. We saw him like once in that Reverser episode. I guess I'll put him at a B. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Max? I'll put Max at an A. I like Max, actually. And I like his robot, too. I don't think his robot's on here, though. So that's kind of sad. But I guess, I guess we'll just count the robot and Max as one person. Overall, though, I think he's an A. Ooh, Marinette. Okay. Where do I want to put Marinette? I'm thinking probably an A because she does a lot of things to benefit herself and she often neglects. So like, for example, the Anime Astro episode, she chose to side with Chloe when she shouldn't have simply to get to, to not let Kagami be with Adrian. So that's gonna make her drop down a couple levels but overall I mean she is a nice person so that's why I'll keep her at an A and not a B this is the other stormy weather girl again we even know, we know less about her than we know about her so I'm gonna put her as an unknown character who is this this is Mendeleev this is Mrs. Mendeleev or Miss Mendeleev I don't know um she's actually kind of mean so I'll go ahead and put her at a D Okay, Milan. I'm gonna go ahead and put Milan at an A as well. She's pretty nice. Natalie. Natalie cares a lot for Adrian. And I like that. However, she still decides to side with Gabriel. So, I'm thinking... I'll make her a B. That seems like an appropriate spot. Okay, Nathaniel. Where should I put Nathaniel? Hmm. I'm thinking, how about a C? I don't know. Is that fair to like, not rank these two the same? I don't know. Eh, I'll just, I'll keep them at a C, cause why not? You know what, I'll save the Kwame's for later. And let's go ahead and do Nino. Nino, I'll make him, I'll make him an, an A? I'll make him an A. Cause, I don't know, what comes to mind, hmm. Actually, I'll make him an S. He deserves an S. Uh, Rose? Rose? I think will be an A. She's a pretty solid character. Sabine? I like Sabine. I'll give her an A as well. Sabrina? She doesn't know how to stand up for herself, so... I'll probably put her as a C. Tom? Tom is often jump, or quick to jump to conclusions, like we saw in the Where Dad episode. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put him at a... Mm, but I do like him. Mm, I'll stick with a B. I'll give him a B. Okay, and then that's it for this one. We went through all the characters in this one. So, this is my graph for how I like the characters as a fan. So, there we go. Do you agree with my selection? Let me know down in the comments down below. So I went ahead and reset everything, saved that other one so I could go back to it if I wanted to, even though I guess I have video evidence. But now, I'm going to create this tier list based on how I feel about the characters, as for at least from a showwriter's perspective, 
and this is how I see uh, basically, I've explained it before, but I look at the characters and the actions of the characters from two different sides. One side is, as a fan, how I personally like to see the characters and all this, and then I look at it from a showwriter's perspective, taking in mind, or at least putting my head in the shoes of the characters, as well as the showwriters as they're making the show. So this is where that viewpoint comes into play. So you're gonna see some weird things like, oh, but uh, but this, this, and that, this, and that, and that's why. So immediately, I'm gonna go ahead and just put these guys back. Uh, even for a show writer's perspective, we haven't seen too much of her, so I'm not even gonna try to judge her. Uh, this, I don't even, I don't know who this guy is. Okay, so now we're gonna go to Adrian. Adrian, from a show writer's perspective, hmm, I think, I think he's actually going to score lower. But then again, he is pretty level-headed as far as seeing Lila through. So, hmm, Campolong. He has a lot of potential, and plus he would keep Marinette's secret as Ladybug, as we saw from Campolong. So, hmm, this is actually pretty tough. I think I'll put him at a B. For the showrunner's perspective. Okay, Alex. Alex is a pretty good character from a showrunner's perspective. Plus, from what we've seen from the future, she can keep a secret. So I'm actually going to put her at an S for showrunner's perspective. Alia. Hmm. Ladyblog. That's really good for the plot. However, she's a little bit irrational in her thinking. So I think that's going to make her drop down to a, an A. Her. She can stand up to Hawkmoth. But other than that, we haven't seen too much of her. And all the class pretty much likes her, which is good because typically there's at least one of those teachers that most people like. So I'm going to put her at a B for that one. Chloe, let's see here. She has a lot of potential. She has the ability to change. It's just the show writers did not implement that. So I'm going to put her at an S only because the show writers set up the ability for Chloe to change. They clearly stated, well, they didn't state it, but they clearly showed that Chloe is capable of becoming a good person. They just did not decide to take that route. But because she is capable of that, I'm gonna put her at an S because she has a lot of potential as a character. She didn't unlock that potential because that's just what the showrunners decided to do with Chloe, but she has that potential and that's why I put her at an S. Ivan, I don't know. I, I guess I'll put him at a C. We don't know a whole lot about Ivan, I don't think, so he'll just stay there. Julika, I'll put her at a B because she has some potential. Uh, I mean, I guess she was akumatized twice, but yeah, I'll put her at a B. Kagami, all the way up there because she, she is real competition. That's good for the plot. I know a lot of people are like, oh, we'll choose one person, whatever, to get mad at the, the at the transition ships. But honestly, looking at it from a showrunner's perspective, you want sort of this drama to keep the fans enticed in the show. So that makes her an S. Kim, he changed too much. I, I mean, it was over the course of one year and he seems like a completely different person now. So I'm gonna put him at a C because he's just really unrealistic in that way. Lila, also an S. She is a fantastic character. She's super smart. She knows how to work the system. She is really good for the plot. Okay, Luca, also an S, because he is not only a nice guy, he knows how to treat Marinette well. And that's one thing that Marinette needs in these times, like in the finale, she really needed Luca's support. And that's why I'm putting it, him at an S. Mark, not gonna judge him, because we haven't seen too much of him. Marinette, her clumsiness actually kind of adds to her character, so I'll put her at an A, but not an S. Max, oh, I'll also put him at, at an A because he's funny uh, in his way, like, we have 5, 15 seconds, 14, 13, like that one episode in Horrificator, or that one time in Horrificator, so that's why I'm going to put him at an, at an A because that seems like a reasonable spot for him. Not going to judge her. Mrs. Mendeleeve, wanting to scientifically prove or scientific do scientific experiments with the Kwamis, that's really interesting. So I'm gonna put her at a at a B because I think I think that, that suits her pretty well. Milen, for some reason, 
I'm getting, I mean, we know for a fact that she's going to get the Mouse Miraculous, but something about her character just screams, like, just full potential, it seems like. So I'm going to put her at an A, because something about her character, I don't know what it is, but I think she's going to become really useful in Season 4. Natalie, an S, definitely. She's got the knowledge, she's got the skills. Felix, her dance fight moves, that was incredible. Also, she's just a really nice guy to Adrian, and she can deal with Gabriel, etc. Just a really good character. Nathaniel, I'll just put him at a, at a D instead of an unknown, because, I mean, we've seen a bit of him. I guess we'll just put him there, I don't know. Nino, let's see here. I'll put Nino at an A, because I don't think he deserves an S. These characters all deserve to have an S. Nino hasn't done anything extremely noteworthy, I don't think. But he's definitely been a nice guy and a nice friend. And, uh, I don't know. He could help move along the plot in the future, I think. Oh, I completely skipped Gabriel. How many have I gone without <laughs> with skipping Gabriel? Okay. Uh, Gabriel? I think as far as the plot, he's sort of like the whole main reason why we have Hawk Moth. So I guess that would make him an A. However, I think instead, I would choose to make him lower, but since we're not really counting Hawk Moth, I'm going to keep him at an A. Uh, and He's just kind of crazy, but you don't have an evil character that's not crazy, really, so that's why he's at an A versus a B. Okay, Rose, something about her just doesn't scream like, oh, yes, like... I think out of all the, the class heroes, she's one of the least likely to get a Miraculous for some reason. Obviously, she probably is going to get a Miraculous, but I feel like if it was me choosing, she would not. She would be one of the last person to get one. I don't know, maybe that's just me, so I'll put her at a D. Sabine, she's very smart. She knows how to get to Marinette to get her to do things, so I think I'll put her at a B. Sabrina? I feel like Sabrina and Chloe make a pretty mean duo, and if put to use by Hawk Moth, this could actually, she could actually do a lot of damage, I think. And Miraculous, she did a lot of damage as well. So I think I'll put her at an A. Tom? Uh, Tom's gonna have to be like a C or a D. I'll put him at a D. And I guess that's it. So this is my tier list for the characters as seen by me from a show writer's perspective. So there we go. We got all the characters that you kind of expect to be up at the top, and then it sort of just goes down the list from there. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. Let me know if this was at all enjoying for you to watch. I don't know if this was extremely boring. Who knows? I'm just kind of testing it out. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments because it helps decide the future of this channel. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. No need to. I'm obviously the better looking one.